So let's start chatting now. I'll come back into this eventually. Yeah, not to I will not go. Not he will go. Okay, let's start chatting first. Let's just have a seat. We'll do uh, we'll do left, right, and center towards the end for sure. Yeah. So uh, nice to see you all again. Uh, you've seen this before. There's a lot of beating up and lots of jumping and and uh, do you enjoy the whole process? Uh, yeah, for sure. I think, uh, yeah, like you said, Tiger was, uh, we did have a lot of action. Yeah. Uh, but this is, is a very different kind of action. It's, it's um, Lebanon, which was amazing. I wanted to go back and now Kabir said that apparently it's not really safe to go back. But I don't think it was ever very safe. <laughs> we we had a great time. I love well, it. I didn't tell them that at that time. <laughs> Now, there's this great connection that the both of you have as well also. You know, go, you both go back to New York as well also. I remember one of your best performances uh, on the big screen. Uh, so just, you know, just a little bit about that. What you like so much about him that you continue to go back to work with him? He was the, one of the first people to really allow me to talk a lot. And he would listen quietly. So in New York, I remember I started talking a little bit, little, just a little bit. And he would be listening like this. Like, wow, this is a man who likes to hear me talk. <laughs> and then from that point on, he became my favorite person. Wow, that's uh, <laughs> very simple then for you to do that. You listen to a lot to uh, Maria, and that's why you talk, uh, sit so quietly. Maria, uh, Arshad listens to her. I listen to me. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I listen a lot to Maria also. You know what I mean. Now, coming back to uh, Sev, sir. Uh, we're back to the zone where you're being a, a special agent. Oh, let's put it this way. And lots of action. This is your zone. Uh, this, uh, you know, when we went back a few years, you had Agent Vinod also. Didn't do as well as the box office, but still, it, it was a very difficult film to do as well. Uh, did you also enjoy doing this, or do you prefer the simpler roles with just a lot of performance oriented? No, uh, I completely love this kind of movie. And Kabir and I have been to work together for a very long time. Um, and Sajid Bhai also. And I'm happy this worked out this way. It couldn't have been better. I think we have a certain interest in common. Uh, a certain subject matter. I think both of us were trying to make uh, the same sort of film. Uh, some of us made it slightly more successfully than the others. So I'm very happy to be working with him because I love that kind of idea. Um, and I feel very uh, secure um, with Kabir at the helm of affairs. I think everyone feels very secure with Kabir at the helm of the affairs. We'll open up to the media and uh, just shoot away. Hussain sir, can we actually have you on stage? Please, sir? Uh, Hussain yeah. sir. As mentioned earlier, the writer of the story. Yeah, Hussain is where it all began. We're starting with. Wow. Do I not see a single hand up? I'll continue chatting otherwise. Oh, there is one, is there? Ah, so, achha, you're looking for a mic. Hello. Yeah, okay. On, on, on the right side, there's a question. Yeah. Hi, trailer was very interesting. There was a lot of fun. Is this film Zero Dark Thirty also inspired by somewhere? No. Uh, in, in the sense, Zero Dark Thirty is also based on uh, uh, reality. Uh, in that sense, uh, this film is also based on reality, but this is what uh, now in publishing circles is being called faction, which is what uh, Hussein Zadi's book is. Uh, it's a factual base that gets extended into fiction. So, it's a little different. Zero Dark Thirty is on a, on a mission that actually happened. It's, it's actually, uh, a, a, you know, down to the real detail of what happened. This is a bit of an extension into fiction, what we would want to happen. You've got that line in the trailer that says, you'd wish that this was true. Uh, maybe that's, I think, uh, leading up to that. Hi, Gabi. Uh, what's your name? I don't think. I don't think that's a. I mean, I didn't have any idea when I read that story. Oh, yes, story. This poster is similar to home front Hollywood film posters. What do you think about that? Yes, that's what I've read. But you know, I mean, we sort of trust the honesty and integrity of our poster designers, Marching Ants. So I haven't really been able to get into that. And if there is an issue, then we definitely look at it. I haven't seen what poster you're mentioning. 
the indian flag being uh, used uh, on the poster on both the characters you know sometimes you do something where you create an image and then you let it not be open to interpretation i as a filmmaker as somebody who creates visuals don't like articulating and talking about why the reason is i think it's very obvious i mean this was an attack on our country there's a certain reason why a flag is being used as a blindfold and beyond that it's also open to many interpretation that you might have so i don't like articulating what i've already done in a visual and uh, my second question is to Sa- sajid sir uh, so you know phantom is releasing on 28th august and after that on each and every friday one big film is releasing like on fourth there is welcome back then heroes and so do you think irrespective of how good the film is the competition will affect the uh, uh, box office prospect of the yeah, film no, uh, as uh, we got only 52 weeks and there is only unfortunately one christmas one eid so we need to and we got one good holiday i think sir. Raksha Bandhan is going to take Raksha for day. So let's hope for the best. Thank uh, you. Katrina, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my question is to you that we see you some doing a lot of action in the film. So how was the preparations and how much were you comfortable doing uh, such stunts? The action in this film is very different to the kind of action I've done before in Thum or maybe in, in even, even in Tiger, I think. Uh, because it's very integral to what they're doing without giving too much away of the story. Um, it's not it's not action to be um it's not action for showing off or to be you know creating larger than life uh, images it's action which is integral and out of no other choice i think so um it's it comes in real situations of kind of life or death and it's, it's something uh, that everyone in the film who is part of is kind of fighting for something they truly believe in so there was no uh, rehearsals or such like that but i think for me the the funnest part which i insisted on doing and i was glad i got to do was to shoot that gun the big one okay was there a point when you told kabir okay i don't want to do this or you were okay with